This video contains one call made on July 2nd, 2023. This was a few days after Nesto's Zoom hearing hit the internet. It's also five days before his R-word charges. In this call, Nesto says his folks, also known as Shirley, ain't his folks anymore. Sonia talks about Scott Peterson's murder case for a bit, then she goes on to say she feels like leftovers. Nesto says it was already a disaster. Take a listen. Hi. Did you get your nap? Hi. No. I didn't get a nap. You sound like you're tired. I, I feel like it. It just came over me. Oh, it did? <laughs> <laughs> I watched my quick little movie real fast. I watched that movie called if, uh, if, uh, Carla Street can uh, talk about the two black teenagers had a baby and got a black dude got accused of a Mexican girl. Mm -mm, I never saw that. Yeah, that really? Yeah, it's, it's, it's the same thing. Niggas just go to jail and they plea out because they have no money. It's the same. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same. Oh, yeah. Money works for you most of the time. R. Kelly had money, but that shit didn't save him. But in most cases, money do help you. I think what R. Kelly should have did, what, before they, because he had some money on his books and them fuckers took all of that shit. But what he should have did was, he should have had three or four five lawyers, not just one. He should have just got a like OJ oh, had three. Right. He should have had a team of of lawyers that think differently and came in on everything and you know beat their ass because you know they planted evidence. They did all oh, that's OJ everything, yeah. and he was whooping her ass and everything. So it made it seem like yeah he could have did that shit, you know. Damn, that's what I need a team. My damn self shit. Yeah, I need a team. I need a team. Yeah. So they don't play fair, you know? That's exactly what I need a team. I need to, yeah, I got to get that man that chain. Because uh, he, he, he said he got this five person. I, I got to get this man this money. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Uh, my other best, he, he, he went to the cabin this weekend with his girlfriend. Mm -hmm. so I call him back. I'll wait. I'm going to wait till, uh, for a Tuesday. I'll probably call him Tuesday, yeah. Tuesday's a holiday. Yeah, well, he, yeah, he's probably on the road, though. Truck drive. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to start to call him. I mentioned it to him one time, but I didn't give him the full breakdown. We were talking about some other shit, too. So. Mm hmm getting a full breakdown. He probably said yeah, no, but it's tax time for the crooks, so you know how they go. Mm -hmm. Getting tags and all that shit. So, oh. yeah. So you know how they go. And then it, flood, it just flooded this goddamn wall. Place just flooded out. Basement just flooded. There? Yeah, it's basement flooded out. The toilet still had a crack in it. You talking about his house flooded? Yeah, his house, yeah. Oh, because you there. No, nah, his house, his house. He's been there like 20 years. Let's see, 2004. Oh, okay. 20 years. He's been there 20 years. Yeah. 20 years. Oh, my baby was three 20 years ago. I missed that. I wish he was three. <laughs> oh, I get it. I'll be like, man, I wish you were two again. He was the greatest baby. He just, he didn't bother with nothing. He wasn't a crier. He didn't touch anything. He could leave him in a room. He would just stay there and do what he's supposed to do. He was like the best baby for an old person because I was 32 when I had him. So when you're young, you could run after him. Hmm? You yeah, had was old? That was 32 was old to you? I mean, it's an old mother compared to a 19-year-old mother. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I was 19 with Sydney, and then I was 32 with him. So it was, it was cool. But I was much slower of a person. You know, you're winding down. You're not really old. But, you know, as a parent, you're winding down. Oh, okay. What's I don't the, know. What's the new news now? Pardon me? Mm -hmm. What did you say? What's the new, What's the latest news now? Nothing? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um. That shit should be dead by tomorrow, though. Mm. Yeah, it should be dead by tomorrow. Well, you know what? It'll be dead once something big happened, like the last time. Well, I know, I know they had a mass shooting up there in uh, 
Charges, throwing everybody's, you know, they got your name charges up there. It's crazy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's everywhere. It's, it's, and and that's not true. They got it all mixed all up. Um, but I don't know. Yeah. But you know what? It's got to, everything, it's, everything will come out in time because they got to go to trial. They got to disclose, you know, everything. And it has to be truthful. And they have to prove it. So whatever they say, they got to prove it. They can't just say it. And it has to be in a jurisdiction. Everything has to be within their jurisdiction. They can't find something come out that they think I can hear and bring it to court. Not look at from the Fulton County. So whatever they fishing for out there while they doing this little people hunt, victim hunt. <laughs> you know the victims to come forward. You know. I understand. I understand. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. Okay. So what you gonna do tomorrow? You gonna get? You say you gonna call uh, what that people is? Uh, the project people. You think they're working tomorrow? Yeah. Yes. Yes. The, the courts are open tomorrow, so yes, I will call them tomorrow. Yeah. I will call them tomorrow. I would like to know what they got to say. I was watching that Scott Peterson story. Do you ever heard of that? When the people that killed his wife and the baby. Uh, uh-uh. black dude. Oh, no, this is a white guy. This happened 11 years ago. He's been in jail 11 years. So I was watching the appeal process they have going on with these people that, it's like the Innocence Project, too, um, because he kept saying that, you know, he didn't do it. He didn't do it. And, they, you know, when they threw it on the media, when they put it all out there, this is how it's fucked up and foul. The system is the state. They put it all on the news. They do it all out there and say, he did it. He did it. They convicted him before he, you know, instead of just saying we have, uh, um, we think he did it, right? He's a suspect and just left it at that. They pretty much like they always do want to convict you first and then we'll work out the kinks later, you know. So they had everybody thinking this man did it. This man did it. This man did it. When they were asking for uh, like how they deserve shit. They did the little news thing. Anybody that saw him fishing over here around such and such and such and such, you know, let us know. They put his alibi out on TV, right? So then all of a sudden, the body and the baby body, because she was eight months pregnant, popped up some days later in the area in which they put on TV to say that that's where he was at, right? So they was like, that gave anybody who actually did it the proper, like, playoff to say, let's go dump the body. Wherever they put the body initially, let's go dump the body over there where dude said he was at. So it looked like he really did it. You get me? 
which they shouldn't have did. They should have never put his alibi on TV. They put his alibi on television, which he didn't act, you know, they don't, they're not working in his, in his favor. They're working to convict him, right? But two other women came up in that same area, eight months pregnant, uh, came up missing and then dead. And they said it's some, they think it's some kind of, kind of cult ritual that did it, right? They said the baby was out of the body when they found the baby and the mother, his wife, right? And she was only eight months pregnant. And then the baby had the ears taped back and had a cord around something around the neck of the baby, which they said that's not no normal thing. Why would she? He didn't have to take the baby out of her. You know what I'm saying? He, he wanted her dead, and he wanted to do with her and the baby. All he had to do was kill her. They would have died by being in her, and, you know, not getting any oxygen anymore. They would have died within her. So why would the baby be out the body? You know? There's just a lot of things that pointed to, yeah, he didn't do that shit. Right. Even though he had a girlfriend, he's still in there. They're trying to do his appeal. But um, there's just a lot of things. That, that said, when I was just listening to that thing, that, yeah, he did it. But everything on TV, they just kept making it seem like he did it, he did it, he did it, he did it, you know? Mm-hmm. When he go to court, and that story was worldwide. Who, cool. if you go get a, a jury, everybody's heard of it. I heard of the case, and I'm not even hey, in where the fuck it's at. You got to get out of my head. You got to get out of my head. Yeah, so you put it out there for everybody. How is the jury going to be fair when you just put them out there to be this, that, and the other? It ain't fair. Damn, I said this. Nope, unless you do a trial by judge. That's the only way it's going to be fair. And then you, you got to look at most judges. Most judges, um, unless you get a real cool, nice, you know, person who's just a neutral person, which I don't think you have that, um, to do a trial by judge instead of a trial by jury. The problem is, number one problem is black people don't go to do, do jury duty. And you got white people that don't know no better and believe in the system like it's, like they don't know no better. They believe in the system and be like, no, oh, it's got to be true. The prosecutor, they believe everything the prosecutor say. You know, the prosecutor sits there and, and put on this whole, you know, this is what happens. This is what happens. Don't, they get, don't, so they get, don't they get them rule books and stuff when they get in jury? Then they give them like yeah, stuff. but they they tell them you gotta look at the facts and you gotta look at it for this and they, they finesse it so if they want it to be found guilty they finesse it so that it'll go guilty and then if they want to finesse it innocent like they do those police when those police came up not guilty when they should be damn sure guilty um they they the jury was coming back saying they wouldn't let us you know he was guilty of this but that wasn't one of the options when we went back there. Damn. So that's how it was. The option they gave us, he wasn't guilty. But the option they should have gave us, he was guilty. That's what they did. They finessed it like that. So when they took him back there, they was like, these are the charges we got to look at? Well, he wasn't guilty of this. But he wasn't. You know what I'm saying? Like when they take you to take the, – there's a lot of unfair things. Like when they take your case to a grand jury, you're not allowed to be there. No one's in there but the prosecutor. What do you think he's in there saying? Yeah, he died. A whole bunch of shit. A whole bunch of shit and then some. That's not true. Just to get that indictment. Mm -hmm. Just to get that indictment. How is that even, how is that even a thing for you allowed to just have one person go in there and talk mad shit about you? And then you don't have a defense attorney to say, well, no, you know, that could be that, but then it could be this, you know? And then they don't disclose everything. So it's just, it's just, it's a web you never wanted me to involve in, and that's just the thing. It's a hell of a web, boy. It's a hell of a mm-hmm. um, I got to get myself all the way over here like this. I know. Yeah. I don't. I really don't. It all goes back to when you're young and they trick you into taking a plea, and you don't realize that plea can hurt you for the rest of your life. The rest of your life. No, it's only going to take these five years because, you know, if you go to court, you might turn around and get these 20. And, you know, you know, five ain't nothing. And, you know, da 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 he be sitting there thinking, you know, I can do it. Yeah, but, you know, Jerry might come back. They might say this. You know, you black, this, this, that, and the other. And just go ahead and take the plea. You young, five years and shit. 
Can you say that shit like it's Friday? Yeah, like it's Friday. That's how they say it. Like, you saying that shit like it's Friday. Take the plea. What the fuck? But you know, if I take, you take the plea, anytime you're in a situation that you may get caught up, you're going to look guilty. Just because of this plea you're taking, you're going to look guilty for the rest of your life. Uh, Once I, you take I, that I plea, it, uh, you're going to look guilty for the rest of your life. I'm sorry. Anyway, yeah. you like popcorn? Yeah, I like popcorn. I like popcorn. Popcorn? Yeah. You yeah. eat butter on your popcorn. Do, what you say? Yeah, I do. I do you like popcorn? popcorn? So have you ever had chocolate and popcorn? No. Oh, yeah. my God. It's the best. It's the best? Chocolate and popcorn is the best. Yes. And in Ohio, this, is, this grocery store sells it, the drizzle over the popcorn. It drizzle the chocolate over the butter popcorn. Mm. It's very good. Your, do soap break your hair out? Does soap break your hair out? Yeah. Does it kill the follicles in your hair? Just... Are you using soap and not shampoo and conditioner? Do they have that on commissary? No, I've been using soap, so I feel like my hair is getting thin right around my line. I just feel like it. Do they have shampoo and conditioner on commissary? I may do, but it ain't my kind. I need you to buy it. I need to buy Why is it? Because you don't want to use something that's going to strip your hair. The soap might be stripping your hair. Stripping my hair. Okay, I see what you're saying. You already have fine hair, and you're stressing. So you don't want to add to that with some chemical or some type of soap. You can always use the shampoo as body wash. That would be better than using soap as shampoo. It's stripping my hair. Yeah, that's, that's part of what it is because I feel like it's getting thin and red around up here. Yeah. Well, you're getting old, too. You know? No, that's some bullshit. That's some bullshit. That's some bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> Pop on. Yeah, yeah. I almost going to cut this shit out. I said, no, no. Next week, this week right here is the anniversary. Make a year. You ain't had a haircut in a year, so just roll a little longer. Yeah. Just roll a little longer. Yeah. You are about to be a year on the seventh. Damn, that is a week. This week. This week right here. No, it's be Friday. Fucking Friday. The seventh. That's 365 right. days. Yeah. Yeah, this Friday. So I'm not going to concentrate on that shit no more. I'm just going to concentrate on... Next Thursday, and see what's gonna happen. He, I know he's gonna come see me next week. Tell me whatever we're gonna do, or whatever. But um, mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not even trying to concentrate on that. I'm gonna try to just sit down and think about what you got going on, and uh, figure out how I'm gonna do this. Yeah, I gotta stay on you. What you doing? You know, your life. I, I can come yeah. My shit on. on. Why, why are you just laughing? Your shit on hold. Yeah, my shit on hold. So, I mean, ain't nothing going on. Ain't nothing I could do. And I ain't stressing myself out no more. And, uh, yeah, and I ain't talking to nobody. Ain't nothing I can do. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry what happened to a lot of folks, but they ain't a lot of folks no more. So, shit, ain't nothing I can do. Ain't nothing I can Does do. Does it feel like a law? It feels like a law. It feels like death. Mm -hmm. It feels like a death. It feels like that. I mean, you know, I never felt... As my mom and dad, my dad, I didn't feel like like I feel now. It's like a death. This is really true. I didn't feel that bad then. This mm -hmm. I don't feel bad, but I feel that all everything I've done to burn up in front of my eyes. That's how that should feel. Like I couldn't say a person was in the house burning up. Mm -hmm. That's what it feels like. It feels like that to me. So right now. I gotta just let it go and move on. Uh, and be, be, be blessed with what I have. That is you. Uh, and keep going. Oh, I feel like left over. You feel like what? <laughs> you feel like what? Uh, when you say it all like that, it just makes it seem like. I'll take this consolation prize. <laughs> fuck it. What the fuck is that? That's how it sounds. What does it sound like? It sounds like, you know, I didn't win the gold or the silver, but I'll take the bronze. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. Man, I'm saying to you. No, right? no, that's no. how it sounds. No, it don't sound like it because, see, it was, already, it was already a disaster anyway. 
So it was just a bound for the fucking motherfucker catch on fire. So you keep trying to pass that some shit, that shit gonna either fall down or blow away. So that's all it did, just blow the fuck away. So well, you know, it's, 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 it's understandable. Yeah, that's all. It was a long situation. And Very you did a lot. You know what I'm saying? Is that the longest relationship you had? Yes, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, when you did it, you felt forever. So, I mean, I guess if you seriously felt like when you did that, you were going to honestly be together forever, then it well, is a sense of loss. Yeah, well, here's the thing. The loss is this year. If I would have did let me go out like a champ. Let me do it right. You know what I'm saying? I don't believe in that just cutting them off with the face off. I just believe in, okay, this ain't working. You have this and you can have it all. I'm a man. I'm going to do my thing. You know, you do. See, I'm, I'm that type of dude. I'm not that type of dude, like, a greedy nigga like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm not that. I'm, if I'm ever going to do like that, let me do it right. I already have my mind. I'm going to do something right anyway. So I'm not, I'm not a jockey type of nigga like that. So that that's all. Let me, if we're going to come down here, let me do it right. And I'm still going to do it right. I'm not going to do some stupid shit. I'm not going to go out today. I'm not going to go out today. But they don't work hard for them. I'm not going to do all that. That's nigga shit. I ain't going to get blessed for that shit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to do all that. I'm supposed to be 70. What the, what, how are they going to bounce back? They can't bounce back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to get blessed like that. Shit. I mean, I'm already blessed. Look at your hair. You're my age. You still look young. Motherfucker, die to hell with the fuck you got going on. You don't know that because you ain't not no man. So you don't know that. No. You don't know that. You don't You, you don't even know what the fuck you got. I ain't know what, you, what you're working with. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What, what does that mean? Do you, are you blowing your nose and shit? Mm-hmm. No, I felt something on my eyelash, so I just went on my eyelash. It felt like some lint landed on my eyelash. I just you blew it. Like, oh. no. Yeah, my lips are big, so they make noise when I blow. Oh, okay. Yeah, too cool. It's the, same, it's the same, same thing with you. I ain't going to let you fall to the wayside. Just because I just met you don't mean that because you, you're going through something. Oh, I don't want to be dealing with that. I ain't cut like that. Mm-hmm. I'm not cut like that. I'm just not cut like that. Oh, you thing. just met me, just met me, though. And I got yeah. sick a month later. Or yeah, a month and a half mean, later. But guess what? No. Uh, it was uh, two months later, because I met you October 28th. I got sick December 28th. But I still was... Supposed to you have time. one minute yeah. remaining. I knew you were mm-hmm. a good person. I knew what kind of woman I saw. You know what I'm saying? My flicks all day. Mm-hmm. So that, that's not what you need a spirit hole. So I'm, I'm good on it. No, I thought it was the you, you ain't, you ain't no, uh, you're not no second to nobody. That, that's not what I'm talking about. So don't go that route. Uh-huh. Oh, I could be second. You know what? I could be, I could be one of them old, old, jealous ass, old ass niggas, man, because he can't get people with a young nigga. That ain't my case. That ain't my case. <laughs> okay, yeah, that ain't my case. So I, I'm not even into that. I'm blessed with a hell. I'm good with that. I mean, God ain't living all the way in the, in the naked line because you've been riding with me for a whole fucking year. So what more can I ask for? I can't. Mm. So, you know, and they understand what the fuck going on with me. You could have just came in. Hey, I, they say it. Damn. Mm-hmm. Thank you for using Global Telling. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and turn notifications on so you don't miss the next one.